Welcome back to the vlog. Thank you. Uh, Hello, welcome back to the vlog. So, first up, I went to Denver to visit some family, and while I was there, I met one of your fellow viewers. We went hiking. Colorado is amazing. good things and what I got was even better than what I expected. There will be a solo video for that coming soon. It was only one night two days so I don't know how long the video is gonna be but it should be good. The Manitou Island episode is coming along. It is going to be done imminently. We're in the final stages right now but beyond that there's nothing really else to report so I'm just gonna get to work. We gotta get those shout outs man. Shout outs! Coming up with shout outs is always it's always very rewarding, but it's hard to come up with new ideas. I gotta think, think. And it's much easier to do it together. Doing it by yourself is a lot harder. <sighs> shout outs, shout outs. Shout outs! Okay, uh, I just did those shout outs. My hair is somewhat of a hint as to what one of the shout outs was. I would give these shout outs a B. Maybe a B minus, C plus. Uh, roughly equivalent to the new Suicide Squad movie. <laughs> I know nothing about the Suicide Squad. I don't even really care about superhero stuff. I was entertained. I was disappointed at how much Flula was in the movie. He should have had a bigger role. In any case, uh, let's continue tomorrow right now. See you tomorrow. Okay, welcome back to the vlog. First up, the episode will be done today, hopefully, for early subscribers. What? Okay, first up, hopefully the episode will be done today. It will be up for early release on patreon.com slash adventure very soon. Second, Bo Miles, YouTuber, makes awesome videos. He said something that resonates with me greatly. If you make videos, listen to this. The art of filmmaking is to shoot when you don't want to shoot and follow stories when you know it's a good idea, but it's a hassle. That is 10 billion percent true and is why we came up with the concept of Greedo in the first place. Where is Greedo? Where's Greedo? For those of you unfamiliar, Greedo started out as our creed. We wrote up a creed that was just basically saying, get the shot even when you don't want to get the shot. I don't care how tired you are. Set up the tripod properly. Make sure it looks right. That turned into the Credo, which eventually turned into the Greedo. Second thing on YouTube, Van Neistat, Casey Neistat's brother has an awesome channel. He said something that I don't know if is good advice, but rings very true for me. When you don't know what to do next, organize. Get yourself some space. Every time I'm in between projects or I'm in a space where I don't know exactly what to do next, the first thing I do is I organize my surroundings. I think that part of it is that it takes away all of your excuses. There's no excuse as to why you can't figure out what to do next when everything is buttoned up in your immediate surroundings. Or maybe it's better to put it that, at least if you can't figure out what to do, you have a nice space to actually not know what to do. By the way, this is not one of those times where I don't know what to do next. I know exactly what I'm doing next. I know exactly what needs to be done. This right here though, is a 27 inch monitor for my mother. At her work, for some reason, they need to use her monitor. And she wanted a slightly smaller one. She didn't like the 32 inch, 27 inches. Amazon did not include a power cable. I think I have an extra, but let's just see if it works with my power cable and stuff for now. Ooh, looks great. Nice, all right. Okay, welcome back to the vlog. First up, one of your fellow viewers, JC, we met up at the meetup in California years ago. Really cool dude, he has a one wheel. He ended up with one of these 
extra in addition to the one that he has. So I will find a way to give this away to patrons at some point. But he also sent this one. <laughs> Somehow for this vlog, this t-shirt is incredibly fitting. I don't know how there could be a t-shirt this fitting, but here we are. You gonna ask me something? <laughs> uh, I didn't have anything in particular. I have not vlogged in a while. Partially I noticed. because my car has been... What's the word? Incognito, not incognito. Incapacitated? Incapacitated. My car has been incapacitated for the moment. Uh, there's a module or something that's faulty. It's covered under warranty. The car drives fine, but they said you could be stranded. So anyways, it's at the dealership. Finally got a rental car today, but you haven't been on the vlog in a while either. I haven't. <laughs> How have you been? <laughs> What's that? Oh, this is our new sign-in system. So this is where I can go and our people can go to our website, log in and sign into classes. And then when they check in, it automatically gets entered into our database. That's cool. Oh, yeah, the reporting and right now it's all done manually. They take it from those Google Forms and yeah, it's a pain. Nice. But anyway, we've been working on it a while and I just learned today what caching is or what the cache is. Oh. Um, um, okay. Okay. So they gave me a Chevy Malibu. It looks basically just like my car. My car is designed after the Chevy Cruze, which is the smaller model of the Malibu. So I guess that makes sense. It drives pretty nice. It's not bad. Now I got to pay for gas. Man, paying for gas sucks. It will continue to baffle me that not all cars being sold right now are electric. The Chevy Volt came out in 2011. This type of car was available to us for 10 years now. I charge my car at night and it's just like my phone. It's like I charge it at night and then I'm full in the morning. It, you never have to think about getting gas unless you go long distance. Oh, it's so great. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've ran as well. So it is time to go for a run. Is anything downloaded? Is anything at all? <sighs> getting podcasts to sync to your watch why is it hard? It shouldn't be hard. It should be like the easiest thing. You know, the problem with me is I don't buy lots of little stuff. It's I buy a few really big stuffs. So whenever September rolls around, boy, every year it's a struggle. It's like, I want to upgrade, but I shouldn't upgrade. Let me tell you, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, it's an unbelievable phone. It's just a powerhouse. I have no need to update. Except for that 120 hertz screen. If they have a 120 hertz screen, it's gonna be real difficult. And I probably will upgrade, but here's hoping that they won't, and it'll save me some money. Okay, let's see, what type of run was that today? Oh, I haven't stopped it yet. 2.14 miles, 25 minutes. What was the VO2? VO2 was 52. Man, it's so hard to keep that thing up. Anyway, we're gonna do a Patreon premiere for the new episode tonight. I don't know why we've never done that before. We're actually gonna stream it just for patrons. You can join in in the chat if you're not a patron. Uh, well, either way, you've probably already missed it at this point. But next time, we'll do that for all the new episodes. So if you're a patron, you can check it out. Uh, anyways, let's continue the vlog right now. I'll see you tomorrow. See you then. This was a good design. The iPhone 6 was garbage. It looked very similar, but it had these terrible lines on it. This is not my favorite design. The iPhone 5 is still my favorite design, but the iPhone 7 is not bad. Did I ever have an iPhone 5? I had a 4 something and then a 6 plus. 
think he started out on six because the four was the studio on. Oh, well, I can sit with that one mine. <laughs> <laughs>